Minister, as we all know, this is Team Blue, and then the members are Fatima, Deborah, Faith, Elijah, and Mr. Constance. We also have someone else, Irefo, but due to some issues, he will not be joining us today. So I'll be calling on Fatima to start this presentation. So Fatima, you can come up now. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Iris Suelina Fatima, and we'll be speaking on the topic, election matters in Nigeria. With me are other team members, which are... Ogala Debra in your job. Messi Constance Aturu. All right, talking about election matters in Nigeria. Elections in Nigeria are a form of choosing representatives for the various arms of government in Nigeria, and which includes the federal government. This is electing the President of Nigeria, and also the National Assembly, which consists of the House of First and the Senate. Then we have the state government, which is electing the governors for the various states in Nigeria. Then down to the local government election, this is electing the various local government chairmen for each local government in Nigeria. Then what is the election about? An election is the process to choose someone to be a political leader or representative in government. Now for a democratic country like Nigeria, the right to vote is the main way most of us, which are the citizens of Nigeria, can influence our decision on how our country can be governed. In regards to the forthcoming 2023 presidential or gubernatorial election is coming. Now, the way we citizens of Nigeria can influence our decisions in the way our country can be governed is if we all come out to vote our choices as our representatives. And in a way to vote, we can do this with our PVC. Now I'll be calling on Deborah Ogala to take us on what PVC is. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, Elena, for helping us to understand what election means in general. Now she has rightly said that to be able to exercise your civic rights, to be able to vote during elections, you need a PVC. We all know that the 2023 election is before, in fact, is right at the door. And then so many persons are talking about it. We are eager about the forthcoming election. But for us to be able to exercise our civic rights, the right to vote in particular, there's need for you to have a PVC. So what is a PVC? A PVC simply means permanent voters card. It is an instrument that enables registered voters to be able to exercise the civil right in a general election. The civic and uh, PVC, the permanent voters card, contains the information of the voter, the information of the voter, your photograph, your biometrics, and all that. And whatever information is contained there can only be accessed through an electronically, electronically programmed device like the card. Them. So you need a PVC, that, that's the fact. But how do you get a PVC? What's the process for involving getting a permanent voter's card? The first is for you to go to an INEC registration center in your local government. And let me quickly tell you that you have to go to one that is close to you. You don't want to register and you just go, somebody will just recommend one for you. I know somebody that can do it for you quickly and you just go there. 
And you know that during the during the election, you will not be able to locate that place. Don't do that. So you go to an administration center that is close to you. And then when you are going, you don't just go like that. You go with a means of identification, like your driver's license, your birth certificate, and um, your national passport, something to identify you. You go with that. So the INEC officials, they are going to get your details, they will capture your photograph, do your thumbprint and all of that. And they will give you a temporary voter's card. When you get a temporary voter's card, don't just start rejoicing and go and sleep, no. They are not going to vote with a temporary voter's card, that paper slip that you'll be given. They are going to give you that, you take it home and keep it safe. That will enable you to get your permanent voter's card when it is ready. When the permanent voter's card is ready, you are going to get a message from the INEC officials. They'll send you a message asking, telling tell you that your PVC is ready and you should pick it up at so so time in so so place. So you go there and get your permanent voter's card and with that, you are ready to do to vote. So don't sit there and say, do I really need to vote? Is, it, is there a need for me to go through all of this stress? What's the essence? Um, Mr. Constance is going to put us through why our vote really counts. Thank you, Mr. Constance, you can come up now. Hello, my Messi. I'll mute your mic, Messi. Yeah. Good, Good evening, everyone. Yeah, I'm here to talk about why our vote counts and how to make our, our vote count. Nigeria has an estimated population of about 216 million people. In Nigeria, a total of 44 million men and 43 million women are currently living under $1.9 in 2022. From the incessant killings of Nigerians in the North, Okay. What's happening to our network? I think it's, I think she's having issues with her network. Can the next is it possible for the next person to go? Okay. Um I guess I'm the next person to go. Good evening, everyone. Trust you're having an amazing evening. I am Samson Faith. And thank you for all of my teammates who have contributed so far to the election matters as regards the forthcoming election in Nigeria. And sorry, I would, my, my part to this, sorry? Let's see your face, we can't see you. Okay, so sorry. You can't see me. We can see you now, we can see you now. Thank okay. You. Yeah, go on. Okay. All right. So um I'll definitely I'm going to be talking about problems that we face or problems that citizens will potentially face as regards the forthcoming election and registration of PVC. So the, I'm going to be dividing this specifically into three three parts, which is before, during, and after the elections. So before the elections or before the collection of PVC, one of the core problems that people or citizens go through is the inability to locate locations around them. That's locations where they can get their permanent voter's card registered, get registered in the first place to assess the permanent voter's card. That's a huge problem for most people because they don't know how to go about that. They literally don't, they just, people are not people don't know where to find INEC of 
office or officials around their state or their local government. All right, so that's before the election. Then during the election, one of the problems found during election is providing information during the registration of PVC rather is um, one of the problems that people encounter. Okay, sorry, I was reading. One of the problems people encounter during the registration of for permanent voters card is usually providing invalid information invalid information about what they, that's their information's name, contact, occupation, and all of that. The ANEC officials over the years have found this to be a very, very huge problem. And this makes finding their PVC or getting their PVC at the long run almost um, a wasted effort. So the last part is, the last part is after the election, the problems that people face after the election. And one of the problems people people face, sorry, not after the elections, people face after the they register for their PVC is ability to tr track where their PVC is or transfer their PVC from one location to another to be able to cast their votes. And some other persons find it hard to get a damaged PVC replenished at the point of elections. So I will hand over to my other colleague who would um, address more on other points about the election matters. Thank you. Thank you very much for highlighting the problems associated with the PVC registration. And one thing I would like to move before I begin is that most of the problems with registration, and the politics as a whole, especially in our country, Nigeria, starts from the mind. If a positive mindset towards the political state of the country exists in an individual's mind, then very wonderful thing will be done by the individual to make sure he gets himself or herself registered in anticipation for the election. And I would like us to know that our votes is very important. One thing you must understand is me and you, each vote counts. If we just look at it and say, after all, if my vote is not there, it does not matter a lot. People will, people will not feel it. The truth is that my vote counts, your vote counts. And if your vote is missing, it can be a hindrance to the breakthrough the country has ever needed. And it all boils down to the level of patriotism in each individual. If an individual is not patriotic enough, it will affect every activity that individual will be putting in to make sure that election process is successful. If that individual is patriotic enough, the individual will want to burn anything possible to make sure that he does or she does what it is or what it takes to make sure that election process is done. And one thing was also noticed that the political party in the country is already alarming. So at this point in time, we shouldn't make it an option to be apathetic about the political state of the country. Now is the time to stand. Now is the time to stand and do what we need to do. Registration for our PVC, mobilizing of other people around us, sensitizing people around us to make sure that this problem finds solution. And like Deborah said when she was presenting, if we just stop at the temporary stage, that's the temporary voter card stage, we will not achieve what we need to achieve. If we get to the permanent voter card stage, and we must be, must be attentive to make sure that we get the information necessary to get our permanent voter card. And if we just go to sleep, like she said, we will not get the information necessary for us to get our permanent voter card, and everything is going to be is going to be unsuccessful. So one thing we must understand is that we must make sure that we are always finding information to make sure that we get the permanent voter card after the registration of our temporary voter card. And if we are financially buoyant enough, like a, like one of our speakers would have seen, if we are financially buoyant enough, we can support 
the various polling uh, centers we find ourselves. It is for us to help in sensitizing those that are there on that day of the election. It is for us to find anybody around that will help to register those that are there when it's time for registration. When it's time for registration, if anything, we can just do to help out in the polling centers. It's very important to just get involved and. Like I was supposed to say, our online registration made, made it easier for many people to register before the full registration at the various points of registration. So I will conclude by saying our votes count. And if we neglect the fact that our votes count, our votes will be what will cost us the breakthrough that our country requires. Thank you very much. Uh. Great work. Um, bless you. Please come up now. Hey guys, sorry for that break in transmission. Okay, I'm going to talk about how and why to how to make your vote count and why your vote counts. Um, like I said initially, Nigeria has an estimated population of over 200 million people. In Nigeria. 44 million men and 3 million women are currently living under $1.9. Only seven killings of Nigerians in the murder and kidnap of citizens by bandits are known women. The massacre of citizens in the western city of O in Ondo State. These all underscore the terrible state of security in the country. Not to mention the thousands of Nigerian university students out of school due to the blatant neglect of Nigerian government towards education, which has led to the incessant strike action of the academic staff union of universities. These facts underline the massive importance of electing the right leaders who are willing to serve the citizens by rescuing the economic, educational and security sector amongst others from their dilapidated states. This is why your vote counts. Now, since INEC has an extended deadline for continuous voter registration, it is imperative that every eligible voter gets to the nearest registration center to register in order to, tag, in order to get their voter's card. On the day of the election, you're encouraged to dedicate at least a day, yeah, if necessary, to seeing that your vote is cast. If you have to travel to your polling units, if it's in another state, please, for the good of the country and for yourself, travel to cast your vote. If time permits, and if you have the bravery, you can join the fellow, your fellow citizens to man ballot boxes in order to ensure the proper collation of votes. And if you are financially capable, you could donate and sponsor the purchase and use of drones to monitor the election process in case of election fraud. This is how to make your vote count. Now I will hand over to Fatima to conclude. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, thank you very much, team members, for the wonderful and expressive presentation. Well, at this junction, I'm going to say, my vote counts, your vote counts, and our and vote our counts. Vote counts. <laughs> thank you, everyone. All right, Omar. Everybody. Uh, a nice presentation. Uh, Omar, do you have anything to say? Not at all. I'll just go into what he said. My vote counts, your vote counts, and our, our vote counts. Thank you. All right. Uh, it was a nice presentation. Wow. Wow. I love the teamwork. I love, but I didn't I didn't hear favor speak. Favor, Eddie. Favor, are you in yeah, this group? Good evening. I just, oh, I just okay. got the link. Not quite long from our leader, and then joined in. Uh, actually, I'm not supposed to be here. But oh, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was a nice presentation, so I will um, hand the mic over to our leader. Uh, okay um awesome presentation guys um thank you for taking the time to do this um 